TGIF, everybody. It's that time. It's Friday, and it's time for a brand new, all new, in or out, pun intended. We have a huge show today. I have on the program the one, the only famed photographer, Mike Ruiz. But first, I have to get right into today's in or out, pun intended, sound off. Okay, so it is the one, the only, Mariah Carey. Go figure, she started another tour and pretty much sucked. She lost her voice, could not hit the notes. Now listen, before you guys like rate me on social media, I want you to tweet me or post on our Facebook page using hashtag sound off and let me know what you guys think, okay? Because she's losing her husband and apparently she's losing her voice. But now every singer is due to have a bad day. I mean, she's only human. But it did sound like she's never sang before. Of course, she looked amazing in this outfit. I mean, hello, she was head to toe perfection. But just the voice wasn't really there. Um, a lot of people went to social media. I'm sure you've all seen the video. Um, it was pretty horrendous. So I want to know from you guys, using hashtag sound off, what you guys think of this latest development. Now there's a lot going on here at Inravio, and just for watching, we want to give you tickets to amazing things that are happening in the tri-state area. So after the show, visit the Inravio.com contest tab to find out great events that are happening in the tri-state area for your chance to win tickets. Um, some of the greatest places we're working with right now are the Paramount in Huntington. You can visit them by going to ParamountNY.com to see the latest and greatest events happening at the Paramount. You can go to the Emporium. We have events for the space in Westbury, uh, Revolution in Amityville. So be sure to check, up the con check out the contest tab after the show and enter to win some great tickets. Now coming up on entertainment news, I have an update for you on the Teresa and Joe Dudice situation. Angelina Jolie hits my headlines today, as well as Jessica Simpson, and you'll never guess who's back, Amanda Bynes. So stay tuned, we got a lot coming up for you, and Mike Ruiz Skyping in later in the show. So stay tuned, you're watching In or Out, pun intended, here on InRavio.com. InRavio.com wants you. InRavio provides the best in TV, film, post-production, and so much more. And we're growing. Right now, we're looking for a team of pros that can join us. So what are you waiting for? We need show hosts, production crew, marketing gurus, sales experts, audio engineers, lighting, visual effects, and camera crews. We want you. Go to InRavio.com backslash join the team. Transmission of lice occurs from being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like catching a cold or a flu. You have guaranteed peace of mind in every bottle of Got Lice because all of our products are completely natural. And organic. But strong enough to cover all your lice removal needs while being safe and effective. Our professional technicians are specially trained with our exclusive proven technique to successfully comb out head lice. We come right to your home at your convenience. Whenever you want us. We bring everything needed to perform a successful and complete comb out while eliminating your head lice. And we leave you with our exclusive complimentary products to use for the next 10 days following our treatment for free our technicians also check all family members who have been exposed to lice please visit us on our website today at gotlice.co or feel free to call 24 hours a day seven days a week at 646-257-0121 
The world of advertising has changed. Radio, TV, and newspaper revenues have declined drastically. Why? Because businesses have realized that advertising return on investment isn't what it used to be. So what can we do about it? Well, that's easy. Advertise online. Own a local restaurant, real estate agency, or even a national retail chain? Whatever your business, in radio can get your message out there. And we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Call today and see the difference for yourself. This isn't TV. This isn't radio. This is in Radio.com. For 60 years, Hanson Carpet has put the customer first, providing only the finest quality products and service. And Hanson Carpet is so much more than just carpet. We also carry a wide selection of window blinds and shades, and our licensed and insured technicians can service any of your flooring or window covering needs. Browse our huge selection of laminate, carpet, linoleum, vinyl, and tile. Stop by our showroom today or visit HansonCarpet.com. No matter what your project, Hanson Carpet has got you covered. Welcome back to In or Out, pun intended. It's that time. It's time for entertainment news. So first up on the bill today, Miss Angelina Jolie was at Buckingham Palace being awarded the insignia for Honorary Dame Grand Cross of the Most Distinguished Order of St. Michael and St. George. To receive an honor related to foreign policy means a great deal to me, as it was what I wish to dedicate my working life to, Angelina has said. Jolie was recognized for her services to British foreign affairs. The queen herself damed her, so now she's a dame. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to leave that to you guys to decide. <laughs> anyway, um, in other news... Katy Perry will perform at the Super Bowl after it had been rumored Coldplay and Rihanna, who's run this town, was unceremoniously axed by CBS Sports, were also being considered. She appears on ESPN's College Game Day last weekend in a hot pink and black furry jersey, implored Oklahoma's quarterback Trevor Knight to call me and partnered with Old Miss students. A deal is being hammered out for Katie to play the Super Bowl. An entertainment insider has recently told Page Six. On ESPN, Perry blasted a report NFL scheme to ask the recording stars to pay the league in exchange for performing on its Super Bowl stage, which last year drew a record 111.5 million viewers. She says, I'm not the kind of girl who would pay to play the Super Bowl. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, well, in other recording artist news, Jessica Simpson's husband wins the award for the kinkiest costume. When it comes to creative costumes, Jessica Simpson's husband, Eric Johnson, may take the cake. It seems he may have borrowed a pair of his wife's lace underwear as part of his costume. Jessica shared a picture of the couple on her Instagram account with the caption, when your husband doesn't have a mask, a hanky-panky face option will hit, be the hit of the party. 
Interestingly enough, the duo were dressed up for, sisters Ashley, for Sister Ashley Simpson's 30th birthday, with Jessica sporting a glamorous silver mask, a much more appealing alternative. Um, in other news, <laughs> Juliana Rancic is TV's, one of TV's top personalities, and she's just extended her overall deal with E! for two more years, until April 2016. But it's already planning what's next. Apparently, a new daytime talk show with sexy husband Bill is in the order. They are developing a new show and are excited about working together on it. If you notice, a lot of interview and deals they do now are together. They are trying to build a brand as a couple now, so that in 2016, they and the public are ready for this new husband and wife show. A source has told our good friend to the show, Naughty But Nice Rob. She currently hosts E! Live from the Red Carpet Specials, anchors interview series Beyond Candid with Juliana, and serves as co-host on E!'s infamous Fashion Police. And top lines with her husband, Bill Rancic, their long-running reality show, Juliana and Bill, which originally um, started on E! Sibling Style. So actually, I, would, I was thinking about this as I came across this. I think I would actually watch that talk show. Hit me up on Facebook. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I would totally watch it. I really enjoy them. I don't find them to be pretentious or unruly or over the top. I think they're, um, well, Bill is an epic and smart businessman. If you remember, Bill won uh, uh, Celebrity Apprentice back in the day. And um, I enjoy their talk show. They're very open. I wonder how a, uh, like a daytime talk show would go, though, with two people. Who knows? But it's something new. It's something different. And um, I'm definitely rooting for it. So I'll tune in. Now, um, on the talk show front, as we know, Chelsea Handler's no longer on E! but is on Netflix. But she's been doing a round of press lately. And though we bet a lot of people would love to be BFFs with the beloved friend star Jennifer Aniston, according to Chelsea Handler, it's not as glamorous as one would think. In a new interview with Huffington Post Live, the longtime Aniston gal pal gave some reasons why their relationship gets annoying pretty quickly. She says, everywhere I go, people ask me about Jennifer Aniston's wedding. The 39-year-old outspoken comedian explains of her gal pal's pending nuptials to her longtime fiancé, Justin. Like, everywhere I go, and always seems to, uh, and I always say to her, do you know being friends with you is a burden? Do you think it's hard to be friends with me? Do you know what it's like to walk down a red carpet and having reporters go, when are Jen and Justin getting married? Like, I'm in charge of that. I mean, I guess that could be a burden. But Aniston is, of course, not the only A-lister Handler's good friends with. Her close circle of friends include frequent paparazzi targets, Gwyneth Paltrow, Cameron Diaz, Reese Witherspoon, just to name a few. So how does she know where to draw the line when talking about her gal pals in comedy? which, of course, pokes fun at these famous people. She says, my friends who are private, I won't talk to the, uh, about them whether they're famous or not. You know, if my friends are really private, if it's bothersome to them, then I wouldn't do that. They all know me. Everyone who's friends with me really knows me, she adds. I wouldn't screw them over. I just wouldn't do that. If it was not a cool thing to do, I wouldn't tell someone's secrets. Everybody, everything's got to play on it. It's a joke. It's not like private information. I would never do that. I'm not interested in their private information. Eh, who knows? I mean, Chelsea's got enough in the bank. She really doesn't even need to comment on this stuff. But we know her. She's extremely outspoken. But in other Jennifer Aniston news, no, I'm not talking about if she's pregnant, and I'm not talking about if she's getting married. But this got my heart beating a little bit faster. Now, there are actual reports that former Friends co-stars Jennifer Aniston, Lisa Kudrow, and Courtney Cox will be reuni reuniting for a new TV show in the coming year. No boys allowed. While it's not the same as Friends, 
it still makes me so, so happy. I am totally excited. I really hope this happens. I, I mean, they're, they're just perfect together. You can't get that chemistry anymore on TV. Now, in tragic news, <laughs> Amanda Bynes has made the wire and has made some shocking allegations against her dad. On Twitter, and we love her on Twitter, she reveals, ready? I need to tell the truth about my dad. He called me ugly as a child and then asked me if he wanted to have sex with him, if I wanted to have sex with him, and I did not know how to respond, and I said no, and then. I was forced to live with my dad, which was a total nightmare. Now, an update to this story. Amanda Bynes' mom, Lynn, denies her daughter's absolutely horrible sex abuse allegations against her father. Ooh, what do we think about this? I mean, we all know Amanda Bynes is on the cuckoo train. I mean, case in point right there. That was her in court last year. And we know she takes to her Twitter to basically vent about everything and anything. Oof, we'll see. I have a feeling the police are going to be knocking on her dad's door just to investigate because that's what they have to do. Um, and now to tie into that, in light of the confession of Steve Collins, father, former father on the popular series Seventh Heaven, he allegedly confessed to molesting young children and his subsequent firing from the movie Ted 2. The Gossip Table reached out to the TV show he most recently appeared on for its official take on the situation. A rep for ABC Families, The Fosters, where Stephen played Reverend Stuart Adams, another priest, ABC has said, Stephen Collins was a great co-star in one episode of The Fosters that aired August 5, 2013. It was the season finale. There are no current plans to bring him back. He was also just recently on, I believe it was ABC Scandal, and they are not going to be bringing him back either. Now, police have come to the door. Apparently, his wife released these confidential tapes that were in a therapy session. They were going to do couples therapy, and he admitted to three different occasions of touching girls. This is nuts. I, I'm like, he's like pure hearted in my mind, but eagers. All right. Now, it wouldn't be entertainment news unless we talked about Kimye and the Kardashians. Well, Kim definitely made me shocked today. Kanye West gave Kim a 1.25 million dollar engagement ring and a pricey wedding band to match. But the reality star ditched it Monday in favor of a tribute to her 14-month-old daughter, Northwest. Kim was seen in Los Angeles supporting, sporting gold rings spelling out the letters Northwest on each finger. She later posted a picture of them on her Instagram. Expect the wedding in trouble rumors to start, but do not believe them. She often takes off her wedding and engagement rings when she runs errands as a pal of hers. Kim doesn't need the ring to be married and in love. Everybody's saying that this marriage isn't going to work. Who knows? Honestly, I just, I can't wait for them to just go to France, live there in a castle, and get out of our lives. Because... I mean, I have to tell you what's going on with them because everybody wants to know. But I'm done. Like, I'm totally done. Anyway, now, I'm a fan of reality TV, as most of you are, and Dance Moms is, like, on my top of my, like, secret pleasures. And now, Dance Moms, Abby Lee Mil Miller, is being accused of assault by a 13-year-old dancer. Now, Abby Lee Miller might want to have to take a softer approach when teaching. The reality star has been hit with another lawsuit in which she's being accused of assault by one of the teenage participants of her lifetime show, Dance Moms. The suit was filed in LA's Superior Court on Tuesday by Paige Highland. Now, if you remember, Paige's mother and her got into a slap hair pull fight 
and Paige's mother sued the production company and Abby Lee Miller for five million dollars. Well, now this case is saying defendant Miller intentionally engaged in contact that caused plaintiff Paige Highland to reasonably believe that she was about to be touched or harmed in an offensive manner, the complaint reads. Apparently, Paige was pinched to the point where she was bleeding. I, listen, I don't know what's true, but it looks like Abby Lee Miller has some uh, legal battles her way. Now, ending some legal battles, Teresa and Joe sat down with Andy Cohen last Friday to tape, um, uh, after their sentencing, to tape a special Watch What Happens Live one-on-one -on -one for a reported $325,000 paycheck. Now, NBC has denied these reports, as they often do. But the two partner, uh, the two parter, aired Monday and last night, and Andy didn't hold back, asking the couple some really tough questions. Personally, it was hard to watch as they looked. Conf the confused look on both of their faces was starting to get tiring, and it looked unauthentic. You can see here. I, I grabbed some pictures for you. Um, Andy even expressed how he was confused on how having a crisis management PR team and a posse of lawyers, how it was possible for paperwork required for the judge was miss missing, which in turn heightened Teresa's sentencing. For me, they came off dense and unbearably awkward as they attempted to apologize to the public. On the flip side, um, talk about sisterly love, Melissa Gorga took to her Bravo blog to express her sadness at the verdict for her sister-in-law, Teresa Judice's jail sentence. Melissa wrote, obviously this has been a very tough week. We are heartbroken for our family and especially those four sweet girls. Pray for them. No matter how you feel, I hope everyone is wishing their family strength and faith. Um, yeah, I mean, it was really, honestly, hard to watch. I couldn't really it was i just felt like they were skating around it and they were still in some kind of denial that this was actually happening um i don't know if that's just the the front they're trying to put on tv Ugh, this whole thing's a mess anyway all right so that wraps up entertainment news today um coming up next the one the only celebrity photographer to the stars Mr. Mike Ruiz is up next on the bill, so stay tuned. We got more in or out, pun intended, coming up right after this. Come, are you ready? Spooky Walk at Camp Aquanuck is back and scarier than ever. Tickets are $15 at the gate with all proceeds supporting the camp. Visit SpookyWalk.com. <laughs>
world of advertising has changed. Radio, TV, and newspaper revenues have declined drastically. Why? Because businesses have realized that advertising return on investment isn't what it used to be. So what can we do about it? Well, that's easy. Advertise online. Own a local restaurant, real estate agency, or even a national retail chain? Whatever your business, in Ravio can get your message out there. And we can do it at a fraction of the cost. Call today and see the difference for yourself. This isn't TV. This isn't radio. This is in Ravio.com. InRavio.com wants you. InRavio provides the best in TV, film, post-production, and so much more. And we're growing. Right now, we're looking for a team of pros that can join us. So what are you waiting for? We need show hosts, production crew, marketing gurus, sales experts, audio engineers, lighting, visual effects, and camera crews. We want you. Go to InRavio.com backslash join the team. And welcome back to In or Out, pun intended. And as you can see here to my side, I have the one, the only photographer to the stars, Mr. Mike Ruiz. How are you today? I am great. How are you? I'm great. I'm feeling a little bit better this week. I feel like everybody's been getting sick lately with this weather that we've had. So I, I'm, I'm a little lethargic today, but I'm pumped that you're on the show for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little congested too, but I'm very pumped. So, um, for those of you that don't know who Mike is, and you're living under a rock. Is there anybody who doesn't? I, I'm saying, that's why I had to have you on. Um, I mean, you've literally taken everybody's picture that is anybody in the world. Everybody from Prince to Kathy Griffin, Lance Bass. It goes on and on and on. You've done everybody. Um, but you have a very interesting story. You literally are the American dream. You came here with 300 bucks in your pocket and created a heck of a name for yourself. How the heck did you do that? Oh gosh, it's a, a lot of it is a blur to me, but um, you know, it's, it's mostly out of, out of my terror of, of ending up um, you know, on welfare and, you know, homeless. <laughs> so that's pretty much, that pretty much was my motivation. I, I, and I was always very inspired by, um, you know, I was always in, very inspired by, by the arts and, and, you know, I always knew that I wanted to, I had big dreams for myself. I used to have these very vivid daydreams when I was a kid and I, um, I, I knew that I was going to make them manifest somehow. And, um, and the first opportunity I had to move to the U.S. from Canada, which is where I'm from, I um I took it, you know. I had no money. I had, I knew nobody, but I came down here and I, you know, I figured it out. I got like like t jobs waiting on tables, working at Bloomingdale's at Macy's, and you know, going on auditions. I was I was modeling at the time, so I was right. going on castings on my lunch hour, and you know, I just uh, somehow I made it all work. And um, when I was thirty, I got a a camera as a Christmas gift, and I came to realize immediately that that was um, sort of the the conduit for how I really needed to express myself creatively. Um, so like, how did you, like, who was your first big job where it was like a pinch me moment where you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this right now. First, the first big job that I had was in the mid to, well, yeah, like mid nineties, I think like 96, 97. 
is when I got to shoot Rod Stewart's album cover when, you know, Rod Stewart was still Rod Stewart. <laughs> um, so, I, you know, and, and to me, you know, I grew up with Rod Stewart. So I was I was flabbergasted that I was going to be in the same room with such a legend. And so that that to me was like, you know, I was like, all right, I've made it. I'm I'm on my way. You know, the floodgates are going to open well, fame and fortune. And, you know, of course, six months went by after that without a job. And, you know, <laughs> But, um, you know, I, I, just, in the point being that it's a very fickle business and nothing ensures ongoing success other than hard work and perseverance and, now, and consistency. Now, your photos, um, you generally have like a, a way of taking a well-known face or figure and putting them and completely transforming them. Like, what's your creative process behind that? Because I've like I've seen the whole like Kathy Griffin get that old Hollywood glam look, and then Lance Bass completely like unrecognizable. I mean, even um, Rodney, uh, your former castmate from A List Calendar, was like a grudge epicness all over the place. Where do you get like your creative vision for those kind of looks? I mean, even the picture behind you with the dog and, you know, the, oh, yeah. the leather helmet. We'll get to that later, but it's uh, <laughs> inspiration of, for, for what we're going to talk about later on. But um, um, I, where, where, where do I get my ideas from, my inspiration? I usually, like, take somebody and, I, I, you know, like, I, I, I think subconsciously I was going for, I don't want to say shock value because it was never, I never did anything to shock people. Like, it wasn't about, you know, like showing people in a negative light. It was just showing them in such a drastically different light that, you know, it was surprising to people to see. So, you know, I thought, I, I think that that was often my motivation is just, okay, well, like Lance Bass, he's such a clean cut, you know, boy band, you know, all American type. Let me, what's the furthest thing from that that I can make him? You know, I made him into like a, you know, like a dirty punk rocker and, um, and and that that's kind of how I you know that that was my process and, and I still enjoy doing that to a certain extent but um, now now these days I have kind of transformed I've morphed a little bit and I I I'm, I think I just I'm going for more these days just bringing the existing beauty to the surface like I think I've mellowed out a lot like I'm I'm not so much about like shock and awe and and you know and like transforming people I just you know I I just I'm really like. I'm at a place in my life where, you know, I just want peace and tranquility and, and, and calm beauty all around me. And I, I think I, I project that in the images that I make. So everything is like really beautiful, but it's just like beautiful versions of, of who they are already. And now you're looking for this calm and tranquility that you're talking of. You were on two seasons of Logo TV's A-List New York, and that was the furthest from calm and tranquility. What is your life like from like after that show oh lord um <laughs> yeah that you know well, did you have show, a, did you have a fun time doing it at least it was okay it was it was all right at the time you know i mean I, to be honest in hindsight you know i mean i don't regret doing it but in hindsight like i i probably knowing what i know now i, I wouldn't have, i wouldn't do it again i mean i wouldn't you know going back in time i wouldn't do it again just because you know i i did it at a time where reality TV was such a pervasive thing in pop culture that, you know, like everyone was brainwashed into thinking that you had to be on a reality show, you know, in order to get licensing deals and merchandising deals and all of this stuff. And, you know, and I was, you know, I kind of bought into that a little bit. And I also thought that I had something to offer as far as um, um, being like a positive role model on, on, reality TV, you know, and I was very cognitive of how I conducted myself and um, conscious of, you know, I, I was never like a loose cannon or anything. And, you know, I did that, you know, very purposefully to, to make sure that, you know, I represented, you know, not only myself, but, you know, like my demographic in a positive way. Um, you know, and that was that was a lot of why I did it. Um, you know, and to a certain extent, it was effective, but you know, in, in hindsight, like it really, it didn't change my life one way or the other, you know, like had I, had I not done it, I don't think my life would be any different than it is now. And it's interesting because when um, the show was not picked up for the third season, I personally was surprised though, because you were one of their highest rated shows. Were you surprised it sure, wasn't picked you know, up? 
Yeah, I think the network was in flux at the time, and I, I think they were trying to make the show more like a Bravo show, uh -huh. where it, it appealed more to to women. And I think that was that was a mistake, which they've come back from. You know, I don't think they're producing programming like that anymore, right? Um, because it failed. Um, right. If they would have stuck to the original formula, I think it could have gone on to be like a big success and it could have had other franchises in other cities that would have been very successful. But, you know, I think they kind of blew it, which is one of the reasons why I quit before it ended. You know, okay. I mean, I, I, you know, I gave in my walking papers before I, <laughs> you know, before they even announced that they were ending the show. Um, so how has life been since the show? I mean, it's been a few years now. Are you still just keeping up your regular schedule? Yeah, I mean, you know, I've been I've been working a lot. I I um, I moved I moved out of Manhattan. I was living in Manhattan, and mm -hmm. I um, I, I just I couldn't do it anymore. And I, you know, I thought it was the byproduct of my age, but I was just reading an article about Manhattan and how it's changed so drastically. It's not the place that it used to be for a myriad of reasons that I won't get into. But it's just a really really difficult place to live now. And and I just I just felt so put upon all the time that I I left the city and I moved to. Like I'm, I'm at my home now in the middle of horse country, and you know, down near Princeton, New Jersey, and it's, it's been such a drastic lifestyle change, for the for like the absolute best. And you know, I've been so so much happier here, and you know, I've had so much more peace of mind, and um, you know, and, and I'm still, and it's it's freed all of it's freed a lot of my mental space to to be able to be more creative and to produce more creative stuff. So that was, um, you know, that was one of the reasons why I wanted to move away from the cities because I felt like the, the, the effort that I took just surviving in the city was um, becoming too taxing and was uh, dis distracting me from, you know, what I really wanted to be doing. All right, well, hang tight. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. And then when we come back, Mike, you're going to talk to us about um, a project that we're both going to be working on in November. Louis Legacy Animal Shelter and your new calendar that is getting bouts and bouts of press attention, hounds and hunks. So guys, stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Mike Ruiz right after this. InRavio.com wants you. InRavio provides the best in TV, film, post-production, and so much more. And we're growing. Right now, we're looking for a team of pros that can join us. So what are you waiting for? We need show hosts, production crew, marketing gurus, sales experts, audio engineers, lighting, visual effects, and camera crews. We want you. Go to InRavio.com backslash join the team. Transmission of lice occurs from being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like catching a cold or a flu. You have guaranteed peace of mind in every bottle of Got Lice because all of our products are completely natural. And organic. But strong enough to cover all your lice removal needs while being safe and effective. Our professional technicians are specially trained with our exclusive proven technique to successfully comb out head lice. We come right to your home at your convenience. Whenever you want us. We bring everything needed to perform a successful and complete comb out while eliminating your head lice. And we leave you with our exclusive complimentary products to use for the next 10 days following our treatment for free our technicians also check all family members who have been exposed to lice please visit us on our website today at gotlice.co or feel free to call 24 hours a day seven days a week at 646-257-0121 Welcome back, and as promised, we still have Mike. Thanks for staying with us, Mike. Oh, of course. All right, would I know? so we've <laughs> got to talk about this event. Um, we have a mutual friend in common, Millie, and um, she just contacted me about this gala that's coming up in Staten Island, November 21st, mm -hmm. um, and 
she told me, she sent me the press release, and I saw your name on it. And I was like, oh my God, wait, I gotta read this now, because I was like, I know Mike Ruiz. So I'm reading on and on, and I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. Long story short, I am so excited to be a part of this. And um, what made you start your, I guess, collaboration with uh, Louis Legacy, which is an animal shelter in Staten Island? Well, I've known I've known M Millie and Jen for for a while. They um they've you know come to some of my events and like my birthday parties that I've had, and um, you know I've known them outside of the dog rescue world for quite some time. And then um, I adopted um, this little guy who's on the wall there, who I love more than life itself. Um, a little sweet pit bull named Oliver. I adopted him in in California. And, um, my agent Zizi, who does dog adoption, who's kind of a hero of mine. Um, you know, just it, she, she, you know, that's it. I got I got Oliver through through her, and um, and then she kind of opened up the world of like dog rescue to me. Like I, I suddenly realized, like wow, you know, like there's all these dogs that need homes, and they need to be fostered, and they need to be adopted, and they need love, and there's so many dogs that are abused and tortured and neglected, and it's just it's horrific. And and um, um, I just thought I said, oh my god, how can I stand by and do nothing? So any opportunity I have to do anything with dog rescue, I do it. And um, Millie asked me if I wanted to do this calendar. And I thought, well, yeah, that would be awesome. You know, and we thought, okay, well, what, what's going to sell a lot of, ca I mean, what things, what commodities sell um, mostly in our, in our society? And it's sex and like cute little puppies. Right. So <laughs> we combined the two into a calendar and, um, you know, and we were hoping that it would, you know, we would sell like a few hundred copies and it would, you know, generate some interest for the you know, raise awareness for Louis' legacy, the dog rescue. Um, but who would have known the insane amount of PR? I mean, it's it was trending on Facebook, which, you know, I've posted pictures of Katy Perry and Nicki Minaj and, and Prince and, you know, and nothing has ever trended the way this calendar was trending. It was amazing. And as a result, we've gotten, we've gotten, press interest from literally around the world like every wire service has picked it up um people who else the meredith vieira show is going to feature it um on october 17th um oh gosh the list goes on and on so anyway so we're, we're we're super excited and we've we've been we've we're taking pre-orders for the calendar now and we're we're selling like thousands of them you know we were hoping to sell 200 and hmm. you know like already we're like in the five figure, almost five figures of, of selling these calendars. I think so. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. I don't, I, I don't want to speak out of turn, but we're, we're definitely, we've exceeded our expectations like tenfold already. So we're super excited about that, which means a lot more dogs are going to be able to be rescued and um, cared for medically and then um, fostered and stuff for until they find uh, forever homes. Now, we're going to put the link on the bottom of the screen. Guys, you can click there and pre-order your calendar now, um, and they will be shipping out. I believe they're available November 21st for purchase, and then they're shipping out on the 24th. So pre-order your copy now. Um, like I said, just the link is there on the bottom of the screen for you. Hit up that website there, and you can pre-order the calendar. It's called Hunks and Hounds or Hounds and Hunks. Hunks and hounds. Hunks and hounds. And now, where did the hunks come from, and where did the hounds come from? The hunks mostly came from my work with um, a fitness sports agency called Silver Models, and um, you know, I, I, I've been getting a lot of, you know, I get a lot of my fitness guys from from that agency, and they hooked me up with several guys to do the calendar. And then, you know, like my local gym here in New Jersey, we there's like a couple of like amazing fitness guys and it, uh, oddly enough since all this press has been happening they their careers are like booming <laughs> it's only been four days but they um they both have been contacted by silver models to for representation and um they're you know they're off and running so you know i launched a couple of careers which i'm very happy about but That's yeah awesome. they're they're local from here from new jersey but um yeah but they're all like you know very committed to dog rescue a few of them have adopted dogs before and and all of them are like crazy dog lovers. And now know. are the dogs from the shelter? Yeah, all the dogs in the calendar are either need homes still or have recently been adopted. I think only one or two have already been adopted, but the rest of them um, have, um, you know, still need homes. And we shot a lot of dogs. A lot of them didn't make it into the calendar just because we literally shot like 20 dogs and, you know, there's only 12 months in the year. So, 
they're 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 like twenty dogs that you know I feel like I need to adopt. <laughs> but yeah, there are there's these dogs are cute too, and you know like people people are so hung up on on oh I want a purebred and I want this and that. But all of these dogs are beautiful, gorgeous. Some of them are beautiful purebreds. And, and look at us, none dogs. of us humans are purebred anymore. I mean, come well, on. Exactly. <laughs> and and. And the reality is, is a lot of purebreds have a lot of hill health issues. So, but anyway, I'm not going to get into all that. You know, adopting a dog is far more humane than buying one from a breeder or from a pet store, which, you know, is you never know what you're going to get. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so like I said, guys, it's November 21st. Mike's going to be there. Um, I will be there. Um, uh, a couple of our friends are going to be there. Rena, Lori Michaels, Francie Jolie is graciously going to perform. Um, and so many others. Guys, you can get tickets for the gala. It's in Staten Island, um, November 21st. The link is right there on the bottom of the screen if you guys want more information. Also, I just want to add that some of the hunks will be there too from the calendar. Oh, okay, perfect. So get your picture with the hunks from the calendar. And, single ones. and what pro what project do you have coming up? Your website, by the way, guys, is MikeRuiz.com. You can see everything on there, and if you're looking for an epic headshot, you can book him through there. But what's up next for you, Mike? What do you see for yourself? Um, I mean, I'm 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 actually meeting with some people this weekend to um to start work on a documentary. It's very preliminary right now, so I, I really don't want to say anything about it in case it doesn't happen. But right. um. It's it's going to be a very heavy hitting documentary about um, a subject that's very um, something that's the scourge of our of our community, the the gay community, and the, you know the the entire country really. But it's just something that that um, has hit very close to home. And um, a friend of mine and I are are going to partner and, and work on this documentary. So I'm very excited about that. And as far as like shooting and stuff, you know, I I mean like I'm I'm always shooting fun fashion and as you know beauty advertising and and stuff which is you know the stuff that i love to do awesome mike thank you so much for being on the program today i look forward to seeing you in november and guys michael is one of the most charitable charitable individuals i've ever met um and i want to just say thank you from a gay man's perspective i appreciate everything you do for our community and for our business in general so thank you so much for being on the show today it's, it's my my duty as a human being. Well, I salute you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. Anytime. Guys, that's uh, MikeRees.com. Be sure to check him out there for more information on Louis Legacy. Head on over to LouisLegacy.org and find out more about pre-ordering the calendar and gala tickets. I hope to see you all there. Mike, thanks again. We'll be back with more In or Out, pun intended, right after this. InRavio.com wants you. InRavio provides the best in TV, film, post-production, and so much more. And we're growing. Right now, we're looking for a team of pros that can join us. So what are you waiting for? We need show hosts, production crew, marketing gurus, sales experts, audio engineers, lighting, visual effects, and camera crews. We want you. Go to InRavio.com backslash join the team. Welcome back to Inner Out, pun intended. In lieu of having an out hole of the week this week, I thought I would do something feel good. It's Friday, and I want to thank our friends over at Relativity Media because they gave us an exclusive clip of their new movie, Best of Me, based off the novel by Nicholas Sparks, who we know and love from The Notebook, um, and they have a new movie coming out next Friday 
So I wanted to give you guys the same sneak peek that I got. So let's go to the tape. One day we're gonna look you don't know how to flirt, do you? Yes, I blew it the other day. You did? Well, what are you going to do about it? I just knew that this was going to be something really special, so I pursued it. <laughs> Really hard. <laughs> Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Damn. Oh. Liana is cute as a button. There's a real innocence to her and a beauty to it. I love you. Love you too. I love you. That really comes through in her portrayal of Amanda. Ah! Luke and I worked with creating small moments that are just full of electricity and excitement between the two. Mind doing that again? And do it. We wanted the audience to fall in love with our characters, so then later, when you meet Michelle and James in the future, you want them to reignite that passion. This is dangerous. You couldn't have gotten bald or fat or something. Jeez. <laughs> I love what she does with the character. She's this vivacious girl who is taking the world by storm. Do you want this? Do you want me? I do. Their dynamic is awesome. Just uh, raw and beautiful with their hearts pouring out of their eyes for each other. Hey, look at me. You see the depth of feeling literally within every scene that she does and how powerful first love is. She's magnificent. Love comes in circles and love takes its own time. It's such an epic, full-on love story that you can't help but get swept up in. The great thing about this film is that it makes you believe in endless love, and I love it. Dustin, what would you risk for me? Everything. Let me love you like that. We're definitely going to need our tissues for that one. I am super excited about this movie. I, call me gay and crazy. Well, that's what I am, pun intended. But that movie, I cannot, I'm definitely going to be seeing that next Friday. Um, all right, so to close up the show, I want to thank Mike Ruiz for taking the time out um, to help me share this message uh, about the Hunks and Hounds calendar. Be sure to visit Legacy. Um, what was it, louislegacy.org for more information on how you can get the calendar. Um, also, mikeruiz.com to find out what's going on with him. Guys, again, check out the contest tab at the very top of the uh, website um, to find out more about what tickets we're giving out here and the amazing events that we're going to and Ravio will be at. All right, guys. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and like our new Facebook page, facebook.com slash pun intended. Until next week, have a great weekend. 